we're going to talk about uh, the names of the tectonic plates. Um, if you look at this map, you'll notice that there's some different colors and, and some numbers on there. Um, there's a light blue on a lot of that map right there. What What is that light blue? You said water? You're correct. That's all the bodies of water, um, all the oceans of the world. So that would leave the orange and yellow, green, brown, blue, and salmon color. Oh, and white at the bottom. That would be... You said land, that's the word I was looking for. So the light blue is the water, and then the other colors are land. And it looks like there's seven major sections of land in this picture. Think about social studies. What do we call those major sections of land? If you said continents, you are correct. All right, do you see the star in the picture? That will be our continent, and the star is approximately where we live. Okay, so there's uh, Irving, Texas right there. And do you remember from social studies what continent we live on? You said the United States. You're close, but not quite. That's the name of our country. But our, uh, but our continent not only includes the United States, it includes Canada as well. So what continent... Okay, what direction from the equator are we? If you said north, you're on the right track. So the continent we live on is North America. Okay, so that's all of the United States, Canada, and then also you can see the, the big orange section. Um, let's see, the on the upper, it would be Upper East Coast. Uh, that would be Greenland. So Greenland is considered a part of the North American continent as well. All right, so if we go uh, down from where we live, the North American continent, we have a yellow continent with the number two on it. What is that continent? Notice it is to the south of us. So if you said South American continent, you are correct, okay? So how about below that, number three, it's um, at the bottom of the, the globe. Now this is, speaking of globe, this map is flat, but you know the earth is round. So that big long white continent at the bottom actually is not long and, and skinny like that. It's actually round and at the very bottom of the earth. If you said Antarctica, you are correct. Okay, Antarctica actually has land underneath some of that snow, where is, uh, whereas the Arctic in the north does not have any land. Um, it's just frozen, frozen uh, water up there. Okay, all right, find the continent and labeled number four. Do you recognize what that continent might be? If you said Europe, you're correct. And Europe is connected to another continent, which in this case is dark blue and says number six. That will be Asia. So if you said Asia, you're correct. So now let's look at the green continent number five. That's Africa. And then number seven, Australia. Okay, now, why am I asking you social studies questions? Well, because these continents uh, have a connection to uh, our plates, all right? So let me show you a, um, another picture of the map. Here we go. And you'll notice, um, like where we are, North America, look at the name of that plate. North American plate. So the continent name is named after the plate, or it could be the other way around too. The, the plate that we sit on, uh, they named the North American plate. Okay. All right. So then down south below us is the South American plate. 
Now the plate includes not only the land, but it also includes the water because underneath the water there is still ocean floor, right? So the plate is bigger than just the continent. It includes the water, okay? So then four and six. Now, you know that Europe and Asia, um, they are two different continents, but there's nothing dividing the two. So since they sit on the same plate, they combine the names Eurasian to, um, to name that plate since both continents sit on it. Okay, and then we have the African plate. Uh, at the very bottom, we have the Antarctic plate. And then we have the Indo-Australian plate. So we know Australia is a continent. But as they looked at the various features and decided where the plates actually are, they found that India is actually on the same plate as Australia. So that's why that plate is called the Indo-Australian plate, okay? It combines India and Australia, those uh, countries and the continent of Australia. Okay, so then those are the names of the major plates of the earth that we need to know. So now on your slide, on the student slide, you have something that looks like this. So what I want you to do is in the green boxes, I want you to type in the names of the plates um, that are there. Okay, so now you practice labeling the names of the plates. All right, and um, here, I'll go back to, here's the, the name. So you can um, go back and forth and copy the names of the plates into those green boxes so you have a master copy of the names. Go ahead and pause this video while you um, put in those names. Okay, so now, um, some things to help us remember, okay? So, we're going to have a test over the name, so we got to remember where the these things are located. Oh, you know what? I realized that I forgot the name of a plate sitting on, on the um, left here. The Pacific Ocean, the largest ocean um, in the world, is also has one big plate underneath of it. So they named that plate the Pacific Plate, and I forgot to mention that, okay? So um, now the Pacific Plate on, on this map here, see the little red arrow? So that's the Pacific Plate, but remember this is supposed to be a round globe. So it does get cut off. They, they made the slit right in between the, um, the Pacific Ocean. So we've got the Pacific Ocean on the left there, but then also imagine that it wraps around and um, goes to the right end too. And that's why there's a red arrow on the right hand side of your picture too, okay? That all is the Pacific Ocean and the Pacific Plate, okay? All right, so which to help us remember that that's the Pacific Plate, I have a picture of a wave. It's like, oh, ocean, Pacific Ocean, Pacific Plate, right? So we have the American flag there, and it's north of the equator, so hopefully that'll help us remember North American. If you said North American, excellent job, way to go. Now, the plate down below, there, there's a taco there. I, I don't mean to uh, imply anything, but I know that some of my uh, my favorite Hispanic food is is tacos. And so I can remember that South America, um, to me, sa tacos represent South America, which is a lot of um, Hispanic countries. And so uh, tacos are a Hispanic food. That's why I put that there. Okay. So I can remember, oh, that's Hispanic and that's South America. All right, so um, then we have an elephant. So that would be an African elephant. When I think of elephants, I think of Africa. Same thing with Australia. When I think of Australia, I think of kangaroos. So that helps me remember that that's, a, that's Australia. 
And then, you know what that, the blue symbol with the yellow thing that looks like an E is? That's actually the sign for the Euro, which a lot of, at least in the past, a lot of European countries use a lot of the same money. And that's called the Euro because the countries are so close together and they're so small that they decided let's just use one kind of common money. So um, instead of having to exchange all of our, our national money uh, in between each other. So that would be the sign for a Euro, which helps me remember... Um, uh, Eurasian plate. See, oh, I couldn't even think there for a second. So that's the Eurasian plate. Euro, Asian, Eurasian. Okay. So that those are some things that help me remember. If you want to add pictures to your map, that is totally fine. Pick things that help you um, that help you remember the name of that plate. Okay. So. Um, could be food and anything that helps you remember, okay? So that will work for, for people who um, remember things with pictures. The next slide, and this slide is in your, um, in your slideshow here, a mnemonic device. Now, one that you, you know, and I don't know if you know that it's a mnemonic device, is my very educated mother just served us nachos. Right, that's the names of the eight planets. So uh, a mnemonic device is where the first letter of each word is the first letter of the thing that we want to remember. So if you can come up with a mnemonic device that starts with the first letter of each plate, that might help you remember the names of the plates. So next to the N, um, type in something that helps you remember North America. E is Eurasian. S is South American. A is African. And IA is Indo-Australian. Okay, so it, it might be something like nobody eats slugs after, after I ate them. Okay. <laughs> That might be something to help you remember. Okay, so um, that's what to do on this slide. And then the very last slide, oh, here's the slide. So in the box, you can type your, your words to help you um, come up with your mnemonic device. And then this slide um, is also in yours, so you can help quiz yourself. Okay, so like one is Eurasian, four is North American. Two is South American, five is African, three is Indo-Australian, six is um, is the Pacific Plate. And Antarctic Plate, I labeled for you, it's not, it's not tested. Why? I don't know. But um, that was not on the list of in the teaks. Okay? All right. So, um, have a great time. Remember to practice naming the plates. Uh, you are going to have a test on it.